Hello, welcome to the Flippin' channel. It's been a while. Today we're gonna be talking about UT appeals. And I heard that recently that the cab waves came out and unfortunately, a lot of y'all either got capped or didn't get your major. And you're wondering like, should I even try appealing at all? Like, how does that even work? And so I'm gonna tell you about it. Um, it's definitely possible because I originally got capped, I appealed, and now I'm a Macomb's business student, class of 2024, and so I'm just here to tell you about my experience and just help you a little bit through the process. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first question, should you appeal? Yes, like I really don't see any reason why you wouldn't. Yes, the appeal, like the point of it is like to show new and relevant information, but you have to understand that that new relevant information could literally be anything, right? You have definitely changed since you have submitted that application. There is definitely something to write about. So I don't see any reason why. Unless like, I guess like you're lazy and you don't want to. Like I was really, really lucky to get into McCombs after appealing and I fully know that but I still really think it's worth a try. So my answer to that question is yes. Okay, so the next question is, how do you appeal? Okay, so if you look at my description box, I'm going to attach a link to the UT Appeals website. So look at that. It says, submit one short answer, 500 words or fewer, that describes the new information not already included in your original admissions application that should be considered by the appeals committee and why. Most people probably want to write about their grades. And if your grades like drastically jump up, I mean, I'm talking like if you're in state, like you went from 8% and now you're like 5%, like you're in the 6%, right? Yeah, no, definitely write about it because then you would be auto admission, right? Um, or if like your rank went up, I'm talking like huge amounts, right? But honestly, there's no point in talking about your grades unless it went up like drastic amounts. So you're like, okay, so I don't write about my grades. What is this new information that I can write about? Literally everything and everything, anything. So I personally wrote about my depression and I didn't get diagnosed till like after I submitted my application and my mental illness is something that I'm really passionate about and I wanted to share with the committee. And I know this obviously could come off to be like a pity like request, um, which I will talk about how to make that not sound so pitiful. But yeah, you can write about anything you feel passionate about. Like you probably have had some kind of new hobby, new interest, it could be literally about anything. It doesn't have to be about some kind of achievement, like some kind of competition you won. See, it even says here, um, it could be related to applicants' academic performance, extracurricular activities, um, extenuating circumstances, which is kind of like what I did. What the appeals committee wants to know is how you have changed from when you like turned in this application to now right and like what better way to show it than like you know something that shows off like your character right this is another chance to sell yourself right and so there's no point in writing about your grades if like it doesn't drastically like jump up tip okay i don't know how to make this sound like not mean but like have the mindset of like who cares right Write about whatever you want, it doesn't matter. A disclaimer, I don't want this to sound mean. Here's what my mindset was, like, you already got rejected. Like, does it really matter? Like, will it hurt that much again? No, it's not gonna hurt that much again. So like, really just like, pour yourself into it, right? Write about whatever you want, right? Yeah, make sure it's like your best work, right? But don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Make sure you're taking, like, Take risks, right? Write about whatever you want, say whatever you want. Like, you know, I don't know. I think that's the type of mindset that you should have, but that's also my opinion. Tip, you only have 500 words. You want to sell yourself completely in those 500 words. Get rid of all the unnecessary fluff. This is not about you writing like elaborately, like all of that. You want to write as much facts like as possible, like you want to write about your growth, like you really don't need all that extra fluff. 
And the second part of this is any relevant supplemental information. Optional, this is optional. One letter of recommendation from a teacher, school official, or community member who can speak to the nature of the appeal, which should include a compelling background and an updated transcript if applicable. If you could submit a letter of recommendation, I would highly recommend it. If you're trying to appeal, right, your grades, right, go to a teacher that, you know, can vouch for that. Talking about something else, like another aspect of yourself, right, find someone who has seen you grow in that aspect and then they would write you a letter about it. Makes sense? And um, for the updated transcript, I definitely would. There's no point in hiding it. You're going to have to submit one, I think, if you get in anyways. So yeah, I would just submit a transcript. Okay, so the third question is, how do you format your appeal? And as you know, I wrote my appeal about my depression diagnosis and like just how I've dealt with my depression and how I've grown from it. Tip, if you are going to write about something serious or like sad, make sure it's really objective. objective. Obviously, like you feel hurt, you feel pain and you wanna like write all that down, right? But you don't want it to sound like you want pity. Right? You want to write it like how it is. Like, yes, you felt this way, but this is how it was. Like, I couldn't do this. Like, this is what the facts were, right? It has to be very objective. And so make sure, like, you have your friends read it. Make sure it doesn't sound too, like, you know, like in your feels and all that. First, I'd write to whom it, it, to whom it may concern, right? So, first paragraph, you write about how thankful you are. Like, thank you for the second chance like i would like to thank the admissions committee like i want to prove like why i belong as like whatever student like whatever college student like i wrote i hope this new significant information will prove why i belong as a macomb student at the university of texas austin right that's like your objective like write it second paragraph i wrote recently i've been diagnosed with clinical depression right you don't want the appeals committee to have to search like what you're like gonna talk about, right? You just wanna get straight to the point and then explain it, like explain how you've grown from it. But then towards the end of the fourth paragraph, I talked about how I was able to get therapy and I wrote like, and you have to write your appeal is about how you've changed, right? So I wrote weekly therapy has allowed me to come to come to terms with the root of my depression and this small change has uplifted the overwhelming weight I had before. Right. So you want to talk about how you've like grown for this, grown from this. So that was like that sentence. And then the last paragraph, you want to tie it all together. Right. So my thing was just like, above all, my mental health journey has taught me to acknowledge both the good and bad times. Right. Even as I struggle, moments of happiness along the way have gotten me through. Basically, like my moments of happiness was like competing in business events. I wanted to tie this somehow to back to business. So I would recommend that too. Like if you could somehow tie that back into like the school you want to go through, that's like, I think you should do it, right? Because you show that like, like this all ties back to the your passion for the major. In the end, you want to ask, you want to humbly ask for a second evaluation right? And you want to tie it up. You want to tie it up, right? So here's what I wrote. On top of having appropriate facilities and professional help available to support students with mental health issues, the passion of culture at McCombs is captivating and will contribute greatly to what I hope to achieve. No matter where I end up, nothing will stop me from achieving my goals, but I believe University of Texas Austin has the excellence to help me succeed. Sort of cringy. So that's kind of like how I formatted it obviously there's many different formats and you could probably find examples online which i would highly recommend and yeah okay so now finally advice time i'm just i'm just gonna rant to y'all i'm in the restroom floor filming this um i currently have covid but i really wanted to film this for y'all so yeah let's just chill and talk I was really, really, really sad and very disappointed in myself. Felt like a huge failure after I didn't get in. It was to the point where I couldn't truly be happy for my friends. I actually felt very jealous, right? And I resented myself and a lot of people. I was like, what is the point of 
like what was the point of trying so hard in high school if like I couldn't get in like or like I would compare myself like these people like didn't try as much as me but how could they have gotten right like but it's really like you just never know like college applications like the whole admission process like it is not perfect right but it is like what it is like you cannot change it and like i think i said this in my other video but like you can't get over something by trying to get over it so yeah like scream cry be angry right be jealous like feel all those emotions like don't feel like you're a bad person because those feelings are valid right but after that like this like you need to accept the situation right for yourself to heal and what has happened is not going to change right you not getting in you not getting your major is not going to change i mean it might like with this appeal yes but like whatever happens like like it's not going to change like no matter how much you cry how much you get angry like it's not going to change all you can do is change your outlook into outlook of it and yeah that really sucks but like give yourself adequate time to feel those negative feelings right but then understand that you have to make the effort to face these problems and like these insecurities that you feel after this like head on and then know that like you're going to be okay like i know it really sucks for a lot of y'all this is like your first rejection and rejection really really sucks and there will be so many more instances where you will get rejected even harder in life and that really sucks too but i guess like that's life right you gotta face it like don't wallow in it too much just know that in the end you are actually going to be fine and so if y'all have any questions literally dm me on instagram you can eel eel email me you can comment down below and i'll try to get back to all of y'all and i'll help you out yeah so i hope y'all are having a blessed day as always and i'll see y'all bye